So if I try to execute this program, it will work perfectly fine. There's, no, there's nothing wrong with it. Let's try to print these values. System out print ln. I want to print v dot instance variable, v1 dot instance variable, and v2 dot instance variable. Let's go ahead and compile this program. Okay, uh, not a statement, obviously, because I've not done anything with it. So either I have to store the value or print the value. So let me just comment this out. Let's have a look. And oh, another typo. I'm so sorry. So we have a typo over here. Variable. And there, it's worked. So it's compiled. Let's try to run it. Java space variable main class. Not class. And there, we have 10, 20, and 40. We have the three non-static variables, which is instance variables. Let's also try and print the static variable using an instance. Let's say the v1 instance. Java C variable demo on Java. Java space variable main class and there it works perfectly fine. So please make a note that accessing static variables using instances is absolutely valid. However, the reverse is not possible. So if I try to access an instance variable using the class name this won't work let's have a look let's try compiling it first see there you have an error non-static variable cannot be referenced from a static context so if you try to think about this it makes sense because when you say variable dot instance variable now we know that this particular variable is local to each object so when you try and type something like this, that is variable dot instance variable, it is ambiguous. You're not, you're not giving it in enough information as to which instance variable. Does it belong to object v1 or v or v2 or which one? You're just saying that print the instance variable belonging to class variable. But as we know, it is an instance variable that is non-static. This cannot be resolved. The same applies for methods. Methods can either be static or non-static. Non-static methods are invoked using your objects and static methods are invoked using your class name, just as we saw over here. So that's it for variables, methods and the static keyword. Thank you for watching.